Hey everyone, let's take a closer look, but I mean a closer look, at some of the half dart offered on the market today. I'm your host Dave, welcome to Tag. Yes, half dart. This is like a constant in the hobby, we always need to buy more, and there is always new offering on the market. But while they look alike, they are not the same. And for that, we're gonna take a deeper, closer look in an almost scientific way, and we're gonna put those darts under the microscope. I mean, we're gonna literally put those darts under a microscope to check the smoothness of the dart and the density. Plus, I ripped the head of some of those to check if the glue was good or not, and I'm gonna comment on those. Let's go. The first dart on this list will be the MK dart, which is available in a flue of different length from 36 to 38 millimeter. Those are gonna be my baseline for bad dart. I mean, even putting them under a microscope, they are not very smooth. The foam is very, very much crinkled on pretty much any color you can find of them. Plus, the foam density of those dart is some of the lesser dense foam you can have on a half dart on the market right now. And the glue is not very good and there is not that much on the head. For that reason, those are my bad dart baseline. Now let's go with a more common dart, the Dart Zone Max Dart. Dart Zone Max Dart, readily available at Target, but putting them under the microscope, I see that the smoothness is pretty much the same as the black MK Dart, which is not a very, very good sign of it being a good dart. I mean, it is. it must have been produced by saving some cost somewhere. And same goes for the density. The density and the smoothness of that foam is pretty much equal with the MK. With the only advantage of having a better glue, the only problem is they don't put enough glue on the head so it's relevant. Let's move on with a newcomer here. The Ickshot. The brand new Ickshot Pro Half Dart. Those uh, kind of took me by surprise because at first glance, they kind of look like what we have with Dart Zone on every aspect. They look like the Dart Zone Max Color and they have a similar head to the AF Pro Dart. But taking the closer look at the microscope, I see that the foam is smoother. It is crinkled a little, but it is smoother. And the density is almost two times as dense as a DZ Max foam dart. Meaning those brand new Ickshot Dart, if they can land in store somewhere, they will be a good option because they are not that bad. They look at least superior to what we just saw so far. I know I'm not going to make friends with this one, but the Worker Gen 3 Plus. I must be the only one not liking those dart that much because everybody screams like heaven when those dart come into the discussion and everything else seems crap, but when I take a closer look at them, I mean, for the smoothness, they are pretty much the same as a Dart Zone Max Dart. That's a little disconcerting, considering they are supposed to be a high-end, high-performance option, and they are pretty much equal with the average. And then I was baffled, checking out the density of this foam. This foam goes on par with the lesser dense foam in the list. Uh, it's only a little more rigid, but it's not dense, and it's not very smooth. The only good point for them is that they improve their glue over time, and the glue on those is pretty much on par with the Ickshot glue, if I can say, so it's not a bad glue. I gave a point to Ickshot, I'm gonna give a point to Worker. This is not a bad dart, not what I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more smoother. Let's continue with the Bamboo 2.0 dart. Bamboo, Bamboo 2.0 are the brand new, I don't know, Bamboo 2X dart that Dart Zone just brought. Those are what I call the cook dart. The one that received a process to change the shape, like for a bamboo or for a triple ring dart, that might shine and melt the outside foam, making it a lot smoother. And that shows with those uh, Bamboo 2.0 dart because the foam is super smooth, super slick. The only big problem is that they have a big hole in the back, making the foam a little thin, and over that, it is not dense at all. This Bamboo 2.0 dart 
as the foam with the less density. So far, this is the crappiest dart. It's very, very smooth, but it's not gonna be solid and it's not gonna last. And I can tell you by experience, that's exactly the phenomenon. You shoot them one time, then you're over, they all they they have no rigidity, they don't hold their shape. So that's one of the problems. For the glue, glue was super good, pretty much the same as Darts on Mac, and with the same problem, there is not enough, but it's a good glue. Then an oddball in those darts. The they came with my ZWQ Base V 2.5. Those are the Thunderstruck Bamboo. Those are intriguing. They are heavier dark because they got a long head with a long long stem in them uh, the glue is okay not very strong plus when put under the microscope this is this is a well cooked dark this is as smooth as a bamboo 2.0 with a much denser foam which give this one a bonus point they're not my favorite they have a weird behavior with the chronograph but uh, they have every quality to be a durable dart then I'm gonna throw another oddball in this thing with a dart that was sent to me by Milo's Mod. Those are the Cheetos dart. First thing, those Cheetos dart are FBJ. So I would advise you to use them for mostly for plinking, not to shoot at other player, at least no other player that did not agree to your dart. Then we'll go to the foam itself because it's a cook dart. It's a bamboo dart, it's a cook dart, it was chain shape, and the foam is pretty much the same as darts on Max foam. It's not it's not smooth, it's not beautiful, it's not they got very very big big deep crevice everywhere, and it is like garbage foam. It is not dense at all, very rigid. I mean this is not the kind of dart I would want to buy, unfortunately. For those reasons, I would have to pass on those because even the head design if i take out the fact that they are fbjs the little the stem is very 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 short and very slick making the glue not stick to the head then i had to throw one of my favorite into this test would be the ghost dart the blue ghost dart those are amazingly well made cook dart i mean they are very very smooth but they still have some shallow crevice over them, but they are, they are one of the smoothest darts out there. Where they shine very, very much above everything else is the foam density. This foam density is two times higher than the second place. This is pretty crazy. Those darts are durable and the glue, the glue on those darts is out of this world. I mean, there is no way to remove the head from the dart other than ripping the foam. All the glue stick, there is no other way. Those darts are something. Apparently after all this test there is only one clear winner which will be the ghost dart above everything else. And I would have to say anything with a density similar or very very close to the cheap MK dart would just have to go out the door. A good mention here for Ickshot being a good middle of everything and judging on the quality of the foam and the density of it is superior to a worker dart. I mean look at that. I can't believe my eyes. I mean the Ickshot class higher in this test than a worker dart. And it's gonna be something to meditate on. Well that's pretty much it. Winner, Ghost Dart, runner up, Ickshot Dart. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to so notify for my latest video. So as Dave Patag, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.